Much like my haters, studies are everywhere and they make me anxious. Here with another delightfully shocking new study, hopefully one about how chocolate helps you with sex stuff, is our own correspondent, Mujan Zolfagar. Thank you, Matt. Matt, there are too many goddamn new studies. Every single day, a thousand new ones come out. It's like a verb leads to an adjective, an adjective leads to a verb. Well, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna make another one for you. Fast food causes poor grades. Eating chocolate can boost memory. There's even been a study proving that there are too many studies. To show how easy it is to get an arbitrary study on the news, I use random methodology to come up with a study of our own. UCB1 proves binge watching leads to baby boys. To get started, we spoke with a real research scientist. Let's just say, I don't have a lab. I don't have researchers. I'm just one woman. What's the bare minimum I could do to make a real respected study? Um, so when, when we do a research study, we look at the statistical significance of it. Yeah. Um, and in order to do that, you need a large sample group that you're looking at. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Um, well, that would be a start. Past that, you need to pay attention to how you're collecting the data. Mm -hmm. and, um, what do you mean by how you're collecting the data? So, so who is collecting the data? Is it, is it you and... Um, In a microphone. With, with a microphone. So... Um, I think we can do this. It sounds like you um, are in a good situation to, to do a study. Um, however, Dr. Puckett continued to talk, but I already got the gist. It was time to go and collect a sample set of data. My brother's about to have a baby boy. Is his wife binge watching a lot of television, resting, watching she TV? She stay at home a lot. She does. We do have a friend who watches tons of TV and they have two boys. Oh. So. If you watch certain shows, like maybe Love and Hip Hop, something like that. It just like increases the testosterone. Those baby come out. Yeah, They're like, I'm ready. When I binge watch, I'm lying down. Yeah. And often the laptop will get closer and closer to like here, oh. to the point where I'm just like this. The heat from the laptop affects my body in a certain way. True. And changes chemical makeup. Mm-hmm. Which probability-wise affects yeah. the number of voice forms. Honestly, like, I've heard scientists talk, but the way you just explained it, it makes yeah. me believe it so much more. Right. When you were in the womb, did you hear television shows? <laughs> yes. With my sample set a resounding success, it was time to show it to a panel of experts. Thank you for proving this study. Oh, yeah, it's a pleasure. You are America. That's All right, so you saw our study unanimous in the streets of New York City. Binge watching leads to baby boys. From a show of hands up, how many of you agree, just based on this video, that binge watching leads to baby boys? One, 25%. That's a positive number. Great. So when we had spoken previously, we had mentioned that getting a large sample would be a good idea. And I can see you went out and got a number of people. Oh, yeah. Um, however, the results that you showed just seemed to be the people who supported your hypothesis. Uh, that's, that's a great point. Now, you binge watch a lot for your work, correct? Yeah. Do you attend a lot of baby showers for boys? No. Do you attend a lot of baby showers? No. Do you have friends who are having babies? A couple. Have you ever met a baby boy before? Yes. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. I'm, I'm just wondering, did you record that as a positive response? I, uh, yes. Now, I'm going to ask you guys again, based on the discussion we had, which uh, honestly I feel like has changed my life a little bit, how many of you would say people who binge watch television have a chance, if they're pregnant while watching television, to have a baby boy? It's official. Three out of four experts agree. Binge watching leads to baby boys. UCB1 has proven it so. See how easy that was? And now, to present it to America's most trusted scientific journal, The Today Show. If we can prove this, then clearly you can trust any study. Right, America? Huh? Yeah, F you haters. We just proved studies are BS. My drop. Hey, I'm Lizzie and this is Matt. We're from UCB1 and thanks for watching our video. If you want to see more from UCB1, just click on us. Or if you want to subscribe, click that button. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, hot topical sketches from Pocket Watch right over here. Or the Ladies Lash over here. That's right, so it's all gold. You're going to love all of it. Golden. <laughs>